Lastly, we'll compare an asset with an expense. If we look at the definition of an asset, we can see that it's a resource controlled by the entity as a result of past events from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the business, whereas an expense is an outflow of economic benefits that either decreases assets or increases liabilities with the ultimate effect of decreasing owner's equity. So the link between the two is all to do with the economic benefits. When the economic benefits of something are in the future, as in they haven't been consumed yet, that's an asset. When the economic benefits have been consumed, it actually becomes an expense. That meets the definition of an outflow of economic benefits. So basically, looking at an example of, say, a delivery truck that's worth $20,000 that we bought on the 1st of January 2015, that's going to last for four years. When the economic benefits of the truck are going to be consumed in the future, that means it'll be an asset. But once the economic benefits of this truck are actually used up or consumed, it will become an expense. So taking year one, um, at the 1st of January, when we first buy the truck, we have an asset of $20,000. We haven't used any of the truck's economic benefits, and therefore, there's no expense. However, a year goes by, and we're at the end of 2015. What we've used now is we've consumed or used up the economic benefits of one quarter of the truck. That must mean that there's $15,000 of economic benefits that will be consumed in the future and therefore the expense must be $5,000. That's the economic benefits we have consumed. A year later, well, we're simply just going to change the maths. The asset is now worth $10,000. That's the economic benefits that will be consumed in the future, and the expense is 10, the amount we've used up. For the third year, we're left with a $5,000 asset and an expense of $15,000. And for 2018, we're finally going to consume all of the truck, so there'll be no economic benefits left for the future, so therefore the asset is worth zero, and the total expenses will be $20,000 because the whole truck and its economic benefits have been used up or consumed. Looking at it in sort of a pool metaphor, when we buy the truck at year zero, it's a full pool of economic benefits. So everything in that tub there it represents an economic benefit. After one year, what happens is we consume economic benefits of the truck. So after one year, we've consumed $5,000 of the truck. That leaves $15,000 unconsumed. After year two, $10,000 consumed, $10,000 of assets remaining. Year three, $15,000 consumed, $5,000 of asset left. And then by the end of the asset's life, we'll have consumed all of it, at which point we have a $20,000 expense and no asset for the future.